All right, case study time. We have Cole, former high school and collegiate basketball player with history of ACL and meniscus tears. ACL reconstruction returned to full play four months after ACL construction. Did something unique with rehab. We'll talk about that in the Facebook group if you want more information on that. Um, after that, rehab that, went back to play, had a broken ankle. Rehab that, went back to play, broke his femoral condyle on the side that he had the ACL reconstruction on. So a lot of stuff going in on a short amount of time. So now, years later, he's still having issues with taking off for dunks and layups. So if I have him do a left-footed takeoff, and then I have him come back and freeze, he's complaining of pain, instability, and weakness when he is in this phase, the loading going down pronation phase of his takeoff. So when we put them on the table, there's a lot of things that could be inhibited. The one thing that stands out the most was his vastus lateralis. Gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, TFL, all pretty good. Soleus, not too bad. Vastus lateralis, nobody home. So what exercise would you give this patient to help him maintain facilitation and then work on strength and explosion of the vastus lateralis? All right. See if you came up with, with something similar to this. So remember, his problem is during eccentrically loaded pronation, and vastus lateralis is the main culprit. So if we put him in this position where the band is pulling him in to accentuate pronation, he's got to resist by eccentrically loading the vastus lateralis as he's going into knee flexion, which is a pronation component, and then come back up. So now we're working that muscle that we had that was the most inhibited in the position that he has the most difficulty with. Now we can also tweak that, add a little bit more to this, and make this a Spanish squat type single leg to facilitate even more quads and see how that throws him off. So these are the thought process. So this isn't an exercise you should be giving everybody with knee pain. There is no such thing as a fix all corrective exercise. This is what we came up for with this patient. The point of this reel is, are you using thought processes and treatment strategies like this, where it's patient specific for his specific neuromuscular function dysfunctional needs?